Testing one, two, testing one, two. Why don't we jump in and get into the game proper? Hi, I'm Patrick and welcome to the stream. Tonight, we're going to be playing The Gardens Between. It's an indie game uh, that's a puzzle game and I started to play a little bit of it last night and I didn't quite understand the mechanics and so I went online and did what every pathetic person does when they're playing games is I went to YouTube to see if I can get some tips on how to play. And now I understand the, the core game mechanic and I went through and solved a few more of the puzzles and I was having a great time. And so I thought, why don't we go in and do this now and uh, have another stream here where I'm actually, you know, a bit conversant in the game <laughs> and can hopefully do some good stuff here. Um, here is the title screen. So all that thunder and lightning you've been hearing has been from uh, this title screen and the train going by and whatnot. The object of this game appears to be uh, piecing together bits and pieces of memories that these two friends had. I guess they lived across from each other, as you can see in these houses. And there's a tree house in the very back. That's uh, where they had their adventures. And you'll see that as I'm traveling from puzzle to puzzle to solve different things, that tree house is kind of my, my means of travel, so to speak. So anyhow, let's jump in and enjoy this game. It's, a very, it's gonna be a very chill stream. Uh, because it's a very chill game, but uh, I'm digging it. I, th I hope you will too. And how are my levels looking? There we go. All right, start. Continue. So I'm a couple uh, what they call constellations in, and constellation is a group of puzzles. As you can see, these three puzzles here are sort of like related to a game room. There's a Jenga game, some a TV for some video games, and now I'm on the third one, which looks to be a couch. Um, or a sofa seat, something like that. And you can see down below my little um, my little uh, tree fort is what I'm using to kind of travel along. So let's just jump in. And I'll try to explain this as I go along, but uh, you're going to be manipulating um, time. That's There's two key activities here. One is time going back and forth, and the other is hitting an action button when you're in a certain area. So as you can see... She's frozen in mid-leap there, so time, and I can just use my little uh, controller here just to move this forward or move her backwards, and that's how we control time. But she's got this little lan lantern that we want to usually put a glowy lighty thing in. Now this kid can do stuff here with this thing that has sort of a, the ability to also manipulate objects other objects in time because right now I can just move these two back and forth in time but when he hits this thing now I can do stuff like let's see move that guy forward or back in time let's see what he's doing okay I'm moving this thing forward in time and that's how far I can move it so let's move him back seems to me as he does his thing all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my lantern on this first she can put her lantern on this box all right now what's that there's a pillow tumbling off Oh, look at this. I didn't notice that. A light comes down. Okay. Let's back up. Hit our, hit our gong again. And we'll go forward in time. Huh. Let's just move forward and see what happens now. Okay, can I walk through this? No. So something has to happen here. Okay. So you can see I'm moving forward and backwards in time. I want to get that glowy thing into my lamp. And so the box, the little toaster looking box that I stuck my thing in need to bring him back maybe to there all right she put 
her thing in there. Let's try this and see if he can grab that light thing as it comes down. Let's hit this again. Yeah, let's try right there. See if it can grab it. There we go. See that? And now, let's get him to hit his thing and. There we go. Now she can grab the lantern with a light in it. And that'll activate this panel over here. Okay, come on up here. See, it likes that now. There we go. Makes a light bridge. We can cruise over here. And what she's, she's gonna do, she's gonna climb up this way. Uh, you know what we need to do is we need to get... Well, I don't know. Maybe he can... Hmm. Maybe he can do something with this time thing. So let's hit that. And see what he can do. Alright, we send this guy forward. Okay. Jump up there. Okay, let's do that. Send her back to this. Punch that in. Now let's see what he can do. Can he go forward in time? Yes, he can. Okay. That's the only place he can go there. We have to get a light, a glowy light thing in there, though. Let's send him back in time now. So you kind of see I'm just kind of going back and forth in time. Oh, shoot. I lost my light bridge. Okay, so we're going to have to do something here. I didn't, maybe I didn't go far enough back in time. Maybe that thing falls down a little bit. Let's see what he does. Okay, he goes all the way back to the beginning. We don't want that. Not enough to pick up. Okay. So let's just send you forward. Oh, there's a bell. Uh. All right. Oh, what happens here? Okay, so we have upended the popcorn here, and there's a thing inside there. What does that do? Huh, I have a feeling I'm supposed to get that thing. have a glowy thing or a lantern so we can't progress so let's back up I mean, this is kind of a trippy little puzzle game but uh, he can't grab the lantern only she can apparently now let's look at this carefully so we've got this little thing there that's gonna go flying Let's hit this. 
Maybe it'll catch it. Let's see what happens now. Oh, so close. Okay, hang on. Move it to there. Come on. Ah, oh, it just jumps right over it. Okay. Alright. Not entirely sure what we gotta do there. Okay. Let's see. So he jumps up. Maybe like right here would be a good spot. I want to see if this thing will catch it. No, it just jumps right over it. That seems like something that should be very important. That blue thing that's in the bowl. go next. It goes right there. Alright, let's just set that there for now. Okay. She's gonna come around. He's gonna come around this way. Hey, where's the little... Oh, he lost the bell. There's a little bell he's supposed to ring. And when there's a the curtains over it, I can't ring the bell. So maybe there's a way to prevent that from happening. So when we go here with an empty thing, we can't progress. All right, let's back up. All right, I'm thinking there's gotta be a way to prevent this from happening. guy back in time and see what happens. if we walk forward now is the okay and that prevents me from ringing the bell hmm okay Getting a message coming in. Huh. All right, let's see. I thought I had this one figured out. Let's see. This time machine is inc is incredibly useful here. So I got to bring this guy forward in time. 
What's the purpose of that? Maybe this will prevent it from... If he's floating there, will it prevent the bowl from... No. But the bowl does seem to fly. Let's see. I think if I can get this thing in front of that somehow, like right there, we can avoid this collision. Like maybe there? I want it to catch this thing. And it's not going to do it. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see what this does. Nope. Ah, you know what? <laughs> Watch this. This might have something to do with it. If I do this, that'll keep that thing from sliding down, I think. Let's try it. Okay. Yes, now I can get to the bell. I don't know what the bell's gonna do for me here. Uh-oh, achievement, great catch, yay. So he can ring this bell. what was inside the thing. And now that we've got... Yeah, so I think we can catch this thing. So we bring this guy back around here, maybe? Maybe, like, right in here. caught it. Okay, so we gotta... I see where the line is. We gotta have this thing right along here, so... Like, maybe right there. There we go. Now we're straight talking. got the lantern has a, uh, a light in it now. Come on down here and get your lantern. She can, he can't carry the lantern though, I don't believe. No, he can't do it. All right, we got to get that lantern back to her so that she can carry it. So let's do that. So let's bring this guy all the way back to where he was up on the couch with her. There. Okay, back her up. Pick that up. Okay. Now we can go. She's got the light now in the lantern. And now the two of us can unlock this memory. There we go. Plug it in. And so this is kind of trippy, but it unlocks this constellation there.
this is a memory of the two of us playing video games back in the day. She throws a piece of popcorn, whacks me in the head, and then you can move time forward just a little bit. Jostles his glasses. Nice little memory. So as you can see, this is a, just a very mellow game. All right, we're gonna go unlock some more memories here. What's this? Looks like we're building a tree fort for the first time. See the third one there? It looks like my tree fort down here. So I guess this is the two of us deciding to build our awesome tree fort. I had a tree fort when I was a kid. It was really cool. Okay, here we are. All right. Whoa. That's trippy. Okay. All right, those little black holes suck up the uh, the light here, so we gotta probably sacrifice one. Okay, yeah, so he gulps one of them up. Okay, we can't go back any further. There's our plans for the treehouse. Oh, that's cool. Jumps on the saw. Probably warning me not to jump on this thing. Saw through time. Saw the plank. Next, get a hammer. Okay. That's a bell thing I can ring. There we go. Alright, there's the hammer. Uh-oh. That thing's going to suck up my light fixture. And I can't go back any further. Oh, we got a bridge here. And that thing's in clouds. I don't know what that means. to the top. Let's smash that one in. See, these puzzles, they're hard enough, but they're not so hard that, you know, the tear your hair out type of hard. But once you get that main mechanic down, you know, that thing of sawing through that wood, when I realized that it was putting more and more um, cut into the board there, I knew that was a clue. All right, here we are painting the treehouse. Okay, there's another one of our little jumpy robot things. She points at it and says, look. Okay. Let's... 
send him back to get that. Really? I would have thought it would have grabbed that guy. Okay, he's jumped in the paint. So I gotta get her up to one of these guys that's gonna be able to take the lantern like that guy. Uh, okay. Something tells me the choice of which one to put it in is going to be interesting. I'm thinking the pink one. For some reason, I think it's the pink one. Or maybe a combination of several. Let's see where this guy's going to go. Hi. Okay, nope. Let's go back to the first one. See where he goes. Actually, I think this is the one that came from... Yeah, he came from over here. Ah, it's the last one. Yep. That's what it is. Yep, and he's sitting right there. So, okay, let's do this. It's the last one, this guy. Now watch, he goes off behind the tree. Tricky, tricky. See, he'll take off. Boom, there he goes. There he goes. Boom, he's in the drink. Or in the paint can. And then he comes over here. That's how you get the lantern lit. Okay, now we go forward in time. And I can go and get my lit lantern now. And move forward. Hey, come on up. And by the way, this got uh, one of the best games of 2018 in the App Store on iTunes. So if you don't have an Xbox and want to try this game out, get it on mobile. my light. Oh, there's another light thing there. It's this orange one here. Let's follow it back. Follow back in time. Ah, that one. 
down there, that blue one right there is near the light. So I gotta follow that guy wherever he goes. Okay, so here he goes. He's in the paint. Is he still in the paint? No. I think he jumps out of the paint, splats on the ground here, yep, stands up, so he's now in the middle, down there, where's he going next? him up. Okay. And he goes up here. Up here. And finally, resting right there. Okay. So it's this one that's right in front of the stage that I think is the one that we want to mess with. Let's send him back in time, see what happens. Okay. Yep. That's the one. There we go. Now he's grabbed the lantern. Move forward in time. This is interesting. It's following the perspective of the little robot guy now. Okay. Everybody comes up here. And he sits down and waits for me to pick up the lantern. Skyward. Alright, that's us painting it. Pink and blue. And if you're just now joining us, we're playing The Gardens Between. And it's a puzzle game that has a time back and forth manipulation bit to it. Oh, here we got pulleys and things. Okay. So let's go forward in time and see what we can do here. It looks like we're going to have some more mechanics to mess with. All right, there's our little glowy thing we got to get. Let's go back in time and see what this does. Watch this. go all the way up. That might be what we have to do is take it to the tippy top. I don't know. Let's, let's just give it to her right now and see what she does with it. We 
may have to stop at one of those other levels, though. Okay. Yep, here she is. thing down, pick up the glowy thing. Okay, bring it on up. Give it to her. She's looking down at that like something's supposed to be happening there. Come on. Alright, come with me. Let's bring this bad boy all the way to the top. Uh-oh. The cl cloud thing has disappeared. something related to that other thing. Oh, there's my bell. But the bell is in clouds, which means I can't do anything with it. So maybe she does have to the bell now? I cannot. Alright. So she's got to get that lamp back. And I think we got to do something with this light sucking thing here. She just sits there and looks at it. So what's... What's supposed to happen here? Let's bring it up like that and see what happens. Like right there. your level now. You should be able to do stuff with it. Huh. Down even further? She should be able to just reach it now. He's looking at the bell. The bell's still in a cloud. All right, we got it. That's that's got something's got to happen there. Well, the 
bell's still there. Hmm. Alright. Send this thing all the way to the top. Let's see if we can't get there. I mean, this little bell. Nope. And we can't get past this fart cloud here. Hmm. So that's not the answer. She's really thinking there's something to do with that. Right, she grabs the lantern. Comes back here. And she just doesn't like... She's giving it the stink eye, but... Now look at that. She's just frustrated because she can't get to it. All right, I'll bring it down. there there's something to do with that. And I'm not... back as I can go. Now she stands there and waits for that. What about right there? two animations that I think are important here. Send her back in time. She's right there. Okay. I think I was saying earlier that these aren't too hard. This one's a little bit of a noodle scratcher here. She want to 
jump on this thing. Okay, that goes poof. This is perplexing. I know this has something to do with it. Let's see about that. Come on, you can come up higher. So it's got to do something to it when it's... Hmm. He's got to ring that bell somehow to get that thing to release. Once we've passed that, we've passed a, a checkpoint. Hmm. I know I gotta ring that bell somehow. Let's see if this works. that get frustrated no worries I'm gonna come up here and ring this damn bell which is going to open that guys didn't take long at all to figure out did it okay okay grab your grab your lantern we're gonna come by here Feed the critter. Right. Okay, come back here. Collect the light. Here,
rooms here. And we're back where we started, though, because this little thing is going to go poof. Unless she puts it on the... But how do I get rid of the fart cloud if I don't have the... We gotta walk through here and bring that up one more. That's what we gotta do. that though. Not unless I go back. going to suck that thing up. Maybe I do this. Bring it up some more. There we go. Let's try that. down some more. Watch. Go right there. That's what it's got to do. So we can get up here. Come on. Bring your thing. We gotta get through this cloud. It's gonna suck this up forward and now we can climb across this cloud because we don't have a lantern with us. There we go. Oh no. And I gotta raise the drawbridge again I guess. he going? And we gotta get our light back again. And 
he runs for it. Tough. She can't cross that. Solve this one. Huh. No, well, I can't get past that cloud. This guy sees her coming in books. So that's not cool. And we can't get past this fart cloud here. Huh. What do you think, chat? Should I go to YouTube and get the cheat for this one? Thank you. 
I think I'm kind of trapped in this. Hmm. Well, I am going to have to get out YouTube, I guess, for that. So that's one that uh, is, a, is a stumper. Anyway, well, that's what this stream has been. It's just a little puzzling puzzle stream. It's a beautiful puzzle. I mean, the music's nice. The graphics are go good. Um, I am going to have to see, because I think I may have either... I'm not understanding that last puzzle correctly, or I've kind of backed myself into a situation that I can't go back and reverse, because that fart cloud won't let me go back. So I'm, something's, something's up there. Anyway, but that is um, The Gardens Between. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if you like it, it's on Xbox Game Pass. Just got added this month. So if you're doing that, which is a great deal, five bucks a month for hundreds of games, that's one of them. And uh, it's a good chill type of game. And, uh, you know, take a break from killing things, right? <laughs> which I'm probably going to do next. I'm probably going to fire up Assassin's Creed Odyssey and <clears throat> kill some things. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh and, uh, oh, wow, it's January 1st, 2019. I hope you have a fantastic year uh, ahead of you. And uh, if you like what you're seeing here, smash that follow button, hit the little alert thing so that you know when I'm streaming next time. And we'll see you the next time. Hope you have a great new year. Prosperous, fun, cool streams, cool games, whatever works for you. All right, take it easy. Peace.